this idea of community, I think, has really been embraced recently in the last few months because we want our communities to thrive and we want our communities to be healthy. And as a passionate soccer person, uh, as a former player, as a coach, as a soccer mom, uh, I, I can't think of any other sport that really conveys the message of personal accountability and team accountability more than soccer. More than ever, this is a time where we need to ensure that our marginalized communities' voices are heard, um, and not only heard, but um, elevated, especially our girls and the minorities in our community. The goal for this is this Ladies First initiative, which to build teamwork, uh, confidence in the young women and children in our community, especially here at Oak Park. You know, part of this is to start this program here, but to not stop it here. Expand this program to other parts of our city and our communities, because this, is, this program will change lives. Over the past four years, we've been able to introduce kids in Oak Park to the beautiful game, and year over year, we've seen just how integral a role recreation, fun, just having this safe space to play and learn, as well as caring coaches and mentors can truly play in kids' life. If you've been to the street soccer uh, National Cup on Capitol Mall, you know the transformational power of seeing young people and not so young people change their lives through team sport, but particularly through this program of street soccer. And there is nothing more prominent uh, for me than to see Lisa and Tiffany and your teams just continue with your passion, your commitment to making sure that this wonderful international sport is known and played by everybody who wants to in our community. And I thank you so much. To have this world-class organization come alongside us, it's really a dream come true. And more important than just wearing the jersey or playing on the pitch, it's the connection between these girls and the women, a role model, a friend, a mentor. In normal times, we would love this partnership with this community-based organization who does so many good things for young people. In these times, it's critical. I, I go to the soccer field every week with my youth teams in the San Jose area, and I talk about accountability. And I want my players to know that they're not just responsible to themselves, they're responsible to each other. And so being here today reminds me of that. My heart is racing because it gets me excited and it gets me emotional. We know that so many things will happen for them in a positive direction if they stay in communities that have programming like what you're doing with street soccer and Ladies First.